So present simple of to be. Am, is, are. Subject, verb, agreement. Okay, we're going to start with a positive or affirmative sentences. Okay, so we have to use I am. So the subject will be in the beginning and then next is the verb. So I am and the short form is I'm. He, she, it is, his, she's, it's. We, you, they are, where, your, there. So please remember that pronouns he, she, it takes singular is. We, you, they takes are. And I will always take am. Let's have the example sentences. I'm cold. Can you close the window, please? I'm 32 years old. My sister is 29. Steve is ill. He's in bed. My brother is afraid of dogs. It's 10 o'clock. You're late again. Anne and I are good friends. Your keys are on the table. So what do you observe here? The first thing that we should do is to check for the subject. That's the time we can decide whether we are going to use singular or plural be verb. Okay, so here I'm, as always, the rule for I would always take am. Okay, sister here is singular without any s, so this means only one person. So it takes is. Is Steve, the name of a man, is singular, one person, so we have to use is. And in the roof of pronoun, he is or his. Okay, brother, singular, then we have to use is. Okay, it always takes is. It's. You always takes are your. Okay, this time and and I. So obviously, two people here, and and I, we have to use are. Okay, keys. With S this time, the noun has S, it means plural. So we have to use R. My sister blank a nurse. Okay. So the answer is is. So sister is only one without S, then we have to use is. Okay, how about this example? Okay, the answer is R. Because father, one person, and I, another person, so two people, become plural. We have to use R. My father and I are good soccer players. Okay. So yes, the answer is R. Because again, the noun has S and it means plural. So your keys are in your bag. Okay, how about this one? Okay, that is correct is Canada is a very big country 
So we are talking about a country here. And Canada is just one country. It means singular. So we have to use is. Now, let's proceed to negative. Okay, when we say negative sentences, they use not. Okay, I am not, and with a short form, I'm not. He, she, it is not, and we have two ways for the short form. He's not or he isn't, she's not, or she isn't, it's not, or it isn't. So whichever you are comfortable, so yes, you can choose whichever you're comfortable. With the plural pronoun, we, you, they, are not, we're not, or we aren't, you're not, or you aren't. They are not or they aren't. Okay, the example sentences. I'm tired, but I'm not hungry. So yes, not here, negative, I'm not. Tom isn't interested in politics. He's interested in music. So Tom is just one person, so we have to use isn't. Jane isn't a teacher. She's a student. So Jane again is singular noun, so we have to use isn't. Those people aren't English. They're Australian. The word people here, the subject, plural. Singular is person and plural is people. Then we have to use aren't. It's sunny today, but it isn't warm. So it, singular, we have to use isn't. Okay, so yes, it was a bit slow, okay. <laughs> then, yeah, you guess the answer again here. Is, because house is singular. Okay, the answer is, again, is, because Carol is just one person. Carol is not tired. How about this one? Okay. Are. Because the subject, the stores, this is plural because it ends with S. So again, any noun that ends with S is plural. Then we have to use are, are not. Okay, so I guess I will just tackle this question or interrogative sentence in the next video. So I just want uh, this video to be quick and short. And I just want it to divide. So yes, I hope that you learned something from affirmative and negative. Present simple to be am, is, are. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you again in my next vlog. Bye!